Current Vice President Kamala Harris and Vice Presidential Candidate J.D. Vance landed on the same tarmac in Wisconsin today at around the same time when J.D. decided to give an awkward press conference that literally nobody asked for. Nobody. Okay, great. Well, I hope that she changes her mind because it'd be good for the American people, and I think it'd be good for you all if she actually ran a real campaign instead of one from a basement with a teleprompter. So, have a good one, guys. See ya. I'll get back to this clip in a minute, but first. Kamala Harris is running a campaign from her basement. That's the best they got. Here's the crowd size she got at the rally in the city they both were in. I bet crowd sizes suddenly don't matter anymore. The line was so long getting in and Bonnie Vare was even there. I only mention any of this because Bonnie Vare is apparently still really popular in Wisconsin. Much more popular than I'll ever be with these cheeseheads, but also... Conservatives are under the impression that thousands of people are there to see that artist playing music and not the woman J.D. Vance was stalking earlier. Just normal, non-weird stuff for a large group of white people who are following a black woman. Also, if J.D. Vance could get a number one selling artist who made a hit within the last five to ten years to promote him, he would. But he can't, so he stuck with Kid Rock and Ted Nugent. This is, of course, the kind of short-sightedness we get from... Ohio's own J.D. Vance. Well, I wonder, Tim Waltz, when were you ever in war? When was this, what was this weapon that you carried into war given that you abandoned your unit right before they went to Iraq and he has not spent a day in a combat zone? What bothers me about Tim Waltz is the stolen valor garbage. Do not pretend to be something that you're not. And if he wants to criticize me for getting an Ivy League education, I'm proud of the fact that my mammal supported me, that I was able to make something of myself. I'd be ashamed if I was him and I lied about my military service like he did. J.D. Vance joined the Marines in 2003 and served as a combat correspondent or military journalist until 2007. Vance was deployed to Iraq for six months in late 2005. For the last nine months of his service, Vance was the media relations officer for the Marine Corps Air Station in Cherry Point, North Carolina. You fought out. in Iraq? I served in a combat zone. I never said that I saw a firefight myself. He is in no position or rank to question anybody's military record, especially if he isn't going to address fake injuries that kept some out of war. This is like me questioning what others did to straighten their teeth, knowing that I'm an adult with braces. You other adults with braces look good, by the way. All four of y'all. Anyways. Donald Trump said something very simple, not, totally inoffensive, but frankly, obviously true to me, which is that Kamala Harris is a chameleon. She's a fake, and the American people have to look at her record if we actually want to know what she, how she stands on the issues, because her words simply can't be trusted. Sir. How can you fake your race? If I'm sorry? Both Indian and black, how can she fake her race? She fakes who she is depending on the audience that she's in front of, and that's who she is, and that's who she's always been. This man has biracial kids and still doesn't know what it means to be biracial. Also, J.D. Vance wasn't born with that name. He switched it. He also used to be a never Trumper. So as a chameleon, he changed it based on the audience he was in front of, or in this case, wanted to be in front of. Which leads us back to the press conference on a tarmac in Wisconsin that nobody asked for. Well, one reporter felt bad for Vance and asked this question. What would you like to hear from her? prosecutor yet she's she pretends to be a tough on crime prosecutor and yet here she is wanting to oh on the police like, she's the border oh, yard yet she's know, opened up the american southern border this is a person who has to answer the questions from the media and it's disgraceful that she runs for you guys it's also insulting for the american people but anyway we're gonna go do our event i appreciate you guys being here i wish she uh, paid you some more attention see ya He wishes the press would pay him more attention, but they were there for her. And I'm here talking about him. For Really American, I'm Jeff Wiggins. My architect knows Japanese.